In Psalm chapter 145, verses 14 through 16, David, he writes about God saying this. He says this, The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. At many times in our lives, we face challenges that can be rather easy to get through, right through to the challenges that can be overwhelming for us. And the challenges that can come from all different directions, more than one challenge at a time even, and they're always varying in difficulty. They can have varying difficulties based on the person that they're affecting. Everything that's been going on with COVID has definitely been a challenge for each and every one of us. For some, it can be easier to go through the challenges brought to them by COVID, and for others, it can be much more difficult as it brings them a different set of challenges. What may seem like an easy thing for one person to get through can be quite difficult for another, and vice versa. Looking at the scripture that we read a second ago, when David wrote that, he said that right there, what he had said, David was at a bleak point in his life, a bleak, depressed crossroads of his life. But David, he still pointed to God. David still pointed to God, God who is the great burden bearer that he is. God is able to lift us up because he is great. He is great. He, is, he does mighty acts across generations. He is full of glorious splendor. That is what God is. God, he does wonderful and awesome works. God, he's righteous. He's merciful. He's gracious. He's patient. He's loving. He rules over an everlasting kingdom. He is the source of all of our daily needs. He is the righteous and loving in all of his dealings. He remains near to all who call on him, and he hears our cries, and he saves us. If you are bending under a burden, under a burden, and you feel you're about to fall, turn to God for help. God is there. God is there, and he is ready to lift you up and to bear that burden. Take this time of communion that we have right now to meditate on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to meditate and to soak in his greatness for the sacrifice that he faced on the cross for you and me so that we could be saved. Let us focus on that now as we go in God with prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for the sacrifice, the, the flesh, the bones that were broken, Lord. I, I thank you for making that sacrifice for us, Lord, so that we could be saved. At this time, I pray everyone here and everyone listening, we focus in right now and be in the present with you now as we take this bread in remembrance of your name. I ask all this in your name. Amen. At this time, let's continue communion as we go to God in prayer for the cup. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, again, I thank you. I thank you for that sacrifice that you made for us, Lord, the, the blood that was shed on the cross. And at this time, I pray that each individual here and each individual listening today, Lord, that we stay focused on that. Whatever we may be thinking, whether it's where we're going to go to church afterwards or whether we're going to do this or that, I, I pray that we put those aside and we focus in on the here and now and be present with you, Lord, as we take this cup in remembrance of your name. I ask all this in your name. Amen. At this point, we have an opportunity to give back for the many blessings that we have been given. We won't be passing out the collection trays, but on your way out today, there's collection trays at the end of the auditorium. You can put your contributions in that. And also, 
one thing before we start praying. Uh, we have a program called Kids for Kids where the kids and those that are young at heart will get the chance to come up here and Chip, as he's leading singing, he'll be holding the stuffed goat as he is now. And the kids, they'll be able to give to this program, this Kids for Kids program. This program, what we do with it is we take the funds that are raised and we buy baby goats for widows in India. Um, there's more information about it in your bulletin. There's a little excerpt about it. But at this time, let us go to God in prayer for the contribution. Dear Heavenly Father, I, I come now to thank you for the blessings that you give us, Lord. The, the simple blessing that we can overlook sometimes is us being in this country, Lord, being able to praise your name, to, to worship your name, talk about you without any persecution, Lord. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing we can be open about our worship and worshiping you, Lord. It's, it's amazing. We don't have to be in hiding. I'm grateful for that, Lord. At this time, I, I thank you for the blessings that you've given me and my family, Lord. And I thank you for the blessings that you give each individual here and their families, Lord. At this time, I, I pray over the contributions that are gathered through this church, Lord. And I pray that the contributions that are gathered will help glorify your name and whatever mission work that it goes to, Lord. Ask all this in your name. Amen. <clears throat> 